Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. This is 16.237 and getting much closer to the um, final release of the 4 Creators update as this is a second bug bash uh, coming up soon and this is the build that they're going to be using for that or one of the builds going to be using for that. I think they're starting to get through the features and now on to sort of stability testing. So what's new in this build? Well, there's a quite a big long post, but there's not a huge amount of changes. They're all really minor fixes and UI tweaks and things, which I think is good. Um, as I say, we're getting closer to the release version. So one of the things that's changed here in Microsoft uh, Edge, the browser, is you can highlight some text like I've done there and say read aloud. Four creators update build for Windows Insiders to test. This week's build is 16,237 and includes more improvements to Microsoft Edge and many UI improvements. For Microsoft, read videos. <laughs> so this is, works okay. Live. Upset, I couldn't get it to stop. <laughs> but that's quite interesting. So I read the word and then it carried on just reading the whole page. It works with PDFs as well. And... Apparently, one of the changes is when you add a favorite. So let's see. So I'm going to add that to favorites. Okay, I didn't really see any difference then, but it does say in the notes there's something different with the, um, with the uh, dialog box. Okay, what else has changed? They fixed some issues with... Um, Win32 and high DPI scaling icons. We probably can't really see that on the video, but uh, rendering icons has been fixed. Uh, action center and notifications. I don't know how I can show those. See the the, the way that it's, it's split there. Um, it's the they've they've changed the justification on the the alignment of the of the buttons on there. We'll see if some notifications come through while we're. While we're testing, because there's another one which actually, instead of it closing, um, the cross doesn't close it. It just means that it's it's been moved. When the dialog box comes up, it means it's been moved to Action Center. Okay, a couple of other improvements. They've improved some of the touchscreen keyboard experience. Let's uh, have a look. So they fixed an issue where it was going into the wrong position and... Um, the sound is back, which is good. And uh, they fixed the relaunch with it. They fixed an issue where it, might it needs to relaunch and so on. They've also fixed an issue with the handwriting panel as well, um, where it would shift around and they've done that. And uh, they fixed an issue where it might be entering twice, uh, entering your data twice. Okay, over on Task Manager, and the previous build, they added support for the um, GPUs. And um, actually it's showing one GPU in there, not two, as it was before, because they had the two drivers um, enabled. Now they've actually, looks like, split them into uh, one graph for the um, for the three values, which I think is probably be better. Uh, other things, they've... Um, I also should say that installation as well, this seemed to install much faster than the uh, previous builds as well, which is good because I've really had trouble with the previous builds, but this is this installs fine. So there's a whole lot of other minor fixes and um, there's a, a few known issues. I've, just, I've had a read through and there's nothing that will... Um, there was nothing that really stood out as being too big of an issue. I'll include links to everything in, along with the video on the digitallifestyle.com. So those are the highlight of the few changes that's that's come with this build. I think we we are down, definitely winding down on features and getting towards the final improvements and uh, tweaks to get this re release ready to go. So thanks for watching this video, and you can find all our um, Windows 10 videos back on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.